Because when we look up, we shall live. When we fix our eyes on you, Jesus, we shall live. We have that assurance. We have that confidence. That we shall look and live. Just as the serpent was lifted up in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever looks at him shall not perish but live. No wonder David says, I lift up my eyes up unto the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord God Almighty, the maker of the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me, he doesn't slumber. Him who keeps Israel, he neither slumbers nor sleeps. He's a shade at our right hand. Umenena buwana, tutaishi, tutakapo kutazama. In thee, O oh Lord, do we put our trust. I want to pray this day that we who have put our trust and confidence in you shall not be ashamed. Deliver us, O oh God, in your righteousness. I bow down. I bow down before you, Lord, that I may hear from you. I pray for deliverance because you are a strong rock. You are a house of defense. You are our salvation. You are our rock and our fortress. And for your name's sake, we pray that you may lead and guide us. Lord, may you pull us from the net that they have laid privily for us. Because you are our strength. Into your hand do we commit our spirit. You who has redeemed us, O oh Lord God, our truth. We will be glad and we will rejoice in your mercies. For you have considered our troubles. You have known our adversities. And you have not shut us into the hand of the enemy. You have set our feet on a large room. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, for we are in trouble. Our eyes are filled with grief. Our souls and our bellies are hurting. Our lives have been spent in grief. 
Our ears are full of sorrow because of iniquities. And that our bones are consumed. We have become a reproach unto our enemies. We have become a reproach unto our neighbors. We have become a form of fear unto our acquaintances. And a lot of them that were close to us have left us because of the afflictions. But your word says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. We have been forgotten like dead men out of mind. And we are broken vessels. We have heard the slander of many. Fear has engulfed us from every side. But we put our trust in you, O oh Lord. You are our God. Our times are in your hands. Deliver us from the hands of our enemies and from them that persecute us, O oh God. Make your face to shine upon us, your servants. Save us for your mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O oh Lord, for I have called upon thee but let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in their graves. We pray that you may put every lying lip to silence. Every lip, every mouth, every tongue that is speaking grievous things proudly against us. Oh Lord, how great is your righteousness. How great is your goodness that you've laid upon them that fear you them that have put their trust in you, O oh God, and not in men. May you hide us in your secret presence from the pride of men. May you keep us, O oh God, in your secret pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, you who has shown us marvelous kindness. In my haste, I said I have been cut off before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard my supplications. You heard my voice. And I am here to give testimony that you are good. And your mercies and yours forever, O oh God. We shall rejoice in your strength and in your salvation. Because you have given us our heart's desires. You have not withheld the request of our lips. We thank you, Lord, because of your blessings and your goodness. When we asked of life, when our life was failing, you gave it to us. And you added unto our days, O oh God. Your glory is great. Your salvation, honor, and majesty. You have laid upon us, O oh God. We thank you because you have blessed us with every kind of blessing. And our hearts have full confidence and trust in you, Lord. We thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you glory and praise, O oh God. Them that intended evil against us. Them that imagined mischievous things against us. They have not been able to perform the same because your protection and your deliverance has been our portion. You have made them to turn their back. And your arrows, O oh God, have made them flee. But, O oh Lord, be thou exalted, because you are our strength. I will sing and praise your power, O oh God. We thank you for your salvation. We thank you, Lord, for the waters that came upon our souls. You were able to deliver us. When we sink into the depth, even in deep mire, 
in the deep waters, when the floods cover us, you have been our strength. We are weary with crying. Our throats have dried up. Our eyes fail as we wait on you, O God. And we know that them that hate us are more than our, the hairs, the number of our hairs. And they would want to destroy us. They are mighty, but you are mightier than the mighty, O God. You who knows our hearts, even our foolishness, and our sins are laid bare before you, O God. Let them not succeed that wait in silence for us, O God. Let them be ashamed. And for your sake, may you deliver your children, O God. We thank you, Lord, for everything about us. We thank you, Jehovah, for your glory is returning to the church. We thank you, Jehovah, for your blessings are abounding upon the church once again. We thank you, dear Lord, for your greatness is being shown in our lives again. We give you glory and we give you praise, our Father. We shall look up and live. We shall look up and live because your name is exalted. And you are seated at the right hand side of the Father, interceding for us. You have given us power and authority. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lifted up is the name of the Lord. Exalted is the name of the Lord. Glorified is the name of the Lord. We thank you and we bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In you will we trust. In you will we put our confidence. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs>